Hi there, this is Vahid from VRF Education channel and it is the fifth version of creating GUI for Python application automatically with just one line of code. As I mentioned in previous session, I was supposed to add filtering option to simple grid. And I think it's not uh, simple anymore and it's an advanced grid because it supports all the operation that we need to have in a data grid. Anyway, I add filtering option to this version of uh, simple grid widget and you can make use of it by just uh, mentioning one property in your annotation for related field in Python classes. When you enable it, uh, in the first row of every uh, page of simple grid, you can see a row like this, a filtering row. And after that, you can uh, see real data. And... Uh, I should mention that uh, filtering play an important role in a large data set. When you deal with a large data set and you need to uh, look for some specific object without uh, having filtering option, you need to go row by row and look for objects or uh, entities that you are looking for. But with uh, filtering, you can narrow your data range and uh, find those items uh, much easier. So I try to do my best for this option in this widget. First of all, I go through the object fields or uh, the columns of a uh, data grid and create appropriate widget based on the object types and also the widget that you mentioned in your annotation for uh, that class. And these uh, fields are added to the first row of each uh, simple grid widget uh, page. And beside each widget, I uh, add a down arrow uh, option. And if you click that, I add a couple of options uh, that uh, show you or that enable you how to act uh, on data with this filter for example for strings i added contains not contains start with ends with or equal and uh, for the other type of object i add appropriate options and also we have a reset option here so we can reset the filters uh, it seems that you are not set uh, filters uh, at all and beside it i also add a down arrow in this uh, part, you can uh, choose how to combine these filters together with two operators, AND or OR. You can uh, try to combine them using AND operator. And uh, if you want to uh, make it uh, wider or uh, make the range of options wider, you can use OR operators. We will see it in VS Code very soon. So, uh, this is the filtering option for Simple Grid and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go to VS Code and check all these items in practice. So, let's see how to enable filtering option in Simple Grid and how it works. If you didn't watch the previous session, I recommend to watch them first and then continue on this session. As I said at the beginning of the session, the main goal of this library is to help us create a GUI for Python application with just one line of code. And this is that line of code. We can easily call create GUI method from VPI GUI generator class and pass an object to it. Then the library goes through the object fields and properties and finally it creates a dialogue with appropriate or related widget to each field or property types for us and also bind those fields and properties with the related uh, widgets so we can uh, read the current values and change the current state of uh, the object based on your opinion or your needs. Okay. We talked about these abilities in previous session and today we are going to focus one more time on simple grid widget. This widget is very handy when we want to work with large data set. This uh, widget uh, right now supports CRUD operations and uh, with the new features that I added to this widget, uh, you can use filtering option. It's very necessary when you work with data set and you're looking for some specific items and you need to filter the data instead of looking for those items manually. Let's run the application uh, without enabling the filtering option, okay? It's just uh, the same as the previous session and some minor bugs also uh, resolved, okay? And you can use it uh, with more confidentiality. So, this is a table widget uh, and data loaded uh, in this widget automatically and pagination also enabled. You can change the number of rows inside the page, uh, each page and also you can go through the pages using these uh, navigation buttons go to second page third page fourth page or you can uh, go back to the first page using this button last page and you can also uh, delete items imagine that i'm going to delete first 10 rows you can just press delete button yes this yes 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 and right now i deleted uh, the 
10 first items and I got, uh, I'm going to update uh, this row the row that the uh, city equals to 20 so you can press edit buttons I'm going to change the items for example change to qwerty 1 1 change it to the maximum number remove all the phones and add 2 2 here for the no 3 3 and change the date also to the last day of the month and let's also add some uh, item uh, in our in our object uh, asdd one one two two and uh, i don't need to have any things at least option okay if i press okay this item updated respectively so if i uh, go to the last page no let's add a new item also i'm going to add uh, another item a one two three and change it to 2022 December 31st and also change this one with Q and set it to the maximum number and press OK so this item also added to the end of the list you can see it here and if I press OK you can see 10 first items uh, deleted item 20 changed to this uh, item and also I added one uh, new item at the end of the list after uh, the uh, record with the city of 35 so these functionalities are uh, the same as the previous version uh, or the previous session and uh, just some uh, minor bugs are resolved so let's see how we can use filtering option with this simple grid widget to enable filtering you should use these properties in annotation put comma at the end and show filtering filtering equal to true by using this uh, key value per, key value per in the annotation filtering option will be enabled for this widget let's run the application and see the output so if you enable the filtering option uh, the first row on every uh, simple widget page contains some widgets uh, related to the uh, column types that we um, set in the class definition in the uh, annotation part of the properties uh, and you can filter data set with these uh, options for example, for the estate, I use cucumber box with three items, so you can easily select between these items. Okay, I will check them. And uh, you can also change the page. In every page, you have this filtering option. It's not uh, going anywhere. And for example, here I'm going to filter data and set those objects that their estate column or their estate field equal to false. If I, use the, if I select the false from the combo box, you can see I have only one page. And all the items here are equal to false. And also near each filtering widget, there is a down arrow. If you press it, there is a mechanism that how this filter should be applied on the data set. For example, for combo box, I use equal and not equal. If I change it to not equal, everything uh, are selected, uh, that every object uh, selected, uh, that there is state and not equal to false. So here I have a three page with uh, 25 uh, data and 10, uh, 10 rows or 10 objects uh, mm, have their state equal to false so they are omitted from this uh, output and if you want to reset the uh, data to uh, the original um, data source you can use reset button it reset all the filtering options everything cleared out and again we have four pages with 35 uh, items and because I added this filtering uh, to the first rows one row is uh, added to each page and uh, if you set uh, 10 rows per each page you can see the last item has uh, the 11 as their text for uh, the row okay now you can combine the filtering without com uh, combining the filtering uh, or the criteria filtering option is not uh, very good and handy but you can filter them for example i'm going to uh, set the state to false again and i'm looking for the fields oh it's, it says it's, it's equal it's equal so i have only 10 items here and i want to look for the city that their name or their uh, i'm uh, I, I want to look for objects that their city fields contains one if you press the down arrow near to the text uh, or or the string um, type uh, fields you can see there are five different options contains not contains starts with ends with and equal and these are very the same uh, that we use with a uh, string type in python so i use contains and i typed here one so these are the only fields that the state uh, these are the only objects that the state equal to false and 
they, uh, they, uh, their cities also contain one. So if I just uh, use a start bits, you can see 31 omitted because it's not a start bit one. It contains one, but it's not a start bit one. So if I change it to end bit, we have only 31. And if I press reset, all the criteria or all the filters uh, reset, and we have uh, the main data set one more time. By default, you can, uh, or uh, this library, uh, simple grid widget, combine the criteria with AND operator. So you can change it here. The default is AND, or you can use OR. So let's uh, change one criteria. Again, I'm going for FARS, and those cities that are ends with one. Okay, I have only one object. If I change it to OR, let's see what happened. Okay, this is, uh, for, this is not FARS, but... Uh, City ends with one. This is false. This is not false, but the city ends with one. This is false, 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 and this is not false, but ends it, uh, with one. So we have two page of data, and when you filter data, you can uh, delete them. For example, I'm going to delete items from uh, uh, 10 to 20 that match these filters. 11, 13, 16, and 18 should be deleted. So I'm going to delete them. Delete, 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 and again I'm going to. Uh, update uh, this item I press the, this one and change it to for example uh, QWERT 1-1 one, one. set it to maximum number remove 2-2 two, two. just removing 2-2 two, two, not clear all them and change it to 2-2 two, two. and set the month to the last day or to the first day of the month and press it OK so everything uh, changed and changed or applied and if I press OK you can see uh, after 10, we don't have 11, 13, 16, and 18, and also item 20 updated accordingly based on the data that we entered in that list. Okay, so this is the way that we uh, can um, filter data. For numeric data, uh, we have uh, equal, not equal, less than or greater than options, also for spin boxes, and also for date date and time we have these uh, four strategies you can use them to filter your data for example I'm uh, looking for um, the objects that the register date is greater than um, let's change to December 2023 first okay I have only two rows 4 and 19 and you can then delete them I'm going to delete them and I'm going to reset. So four gone, and okay, 20, 29 also gone. So they deleted. If I clean the output and let's get back here one more time, I'm going to filter data to force one more time. And I forgot what I'm looking for. And here we have end. Okay, okay, okay. Let's add one new item also. I'm going to add new item here. When uh, data are filtered, uh, city equal to one, two, three. Uh, it's straight one, two, three. Both could be the maximum number here. We have one, two, three as the phone. And also NO equal to one, two, three. And the date is equal to 22, 2022, December 1st. Press OK. And uh, the item added to the end of the list. And if I press OK, so you can see item 4 gone, item 29 deleted, and a new item added to the list. So this is the way how filtering options work with the simple grid widget. And I try to do my best and adding um, some necessary functionalities for filtering, such as a strategy for each filter and add appropriate um, options to each field based on the type and also add the combination uh, how we can combine them and it might uh, have it, it might has a, a couple of uh, bugs uh, right now it would be appreciated if you uh, the, use this widget and tell me about the bugs if you find any so I can uh, resolve them I try to uh, test in most scenarios but some scenarios may be uh, forgotten by me so uh, let me know if uh, anything weird happened when you're using this uh, library. I would be glad to hear you in the comment section. Until the next session, 
and looking for new um, functionalities. Goodbye.